a little bit more than a year ago, I started my fitness journey. And on this YouTube channel, I'm trying to give you guys tips from my experience. About a month ago, I uploaded this video. My second ever YouTube video was about my bulking diet. But a couple of days ago, I got this comment. And it made me think about when I first started. You see, this isn't the first time I'm bulking. I have done it once before, and that went, well, not so well. In my first bulk, I started eating everything and it made me really fat. Because of this, I had to lose a lot of fat. So today I'm gonna show you how to cut and how I went from this to this. I'm dressed up warm today because this son of a bitch isn't working. And it is fucking freezing outside. When you're bulking, you're eating in a calorie surplus to gain weight. This means eating more calories than you burn. When you're cutting, this means you're eating less calories than you burn. In my case, I went on a really heavy calorie deficit to shred off as much fat as possible in as little time as possible. I would definitely not recommend this because I also lost a lot of muscle. Because if you're giving your body not enough energy to recover well, then you're gonna lose fat, but you're also gonna lose muscle with that. So I'm not recommending this at all. I think I was in a calorie deficit of about eight or 900 calories a day, which made me lose fat. But if I would have taken it more slowly, I think I would have had more muscle now. I would recommend going about 500 calories beneath your maintenance calories. This way you can maintain most of your amount of muscle and still lose fat pretty quickly. But how do you know if you're in a calorie deficit and how do you even know how much calories you need? This can definitely be difficult in the beginning, especially when you have no clue what your maintenance calories is, but there are ways you can discover this. First of all, I will put a link in the description to a maintenance calculator. You can type in your age, your weight, and your height here, and it will calculate an estimated maintenance for you. Keep in mind that these calculations are not 100% accurate, so I recommend weighing yourself each week for a couple of weeks, and if the scale goes up, you know you gotta eat less than that, and if the scale goes down too quickly, you know you can eat a little bit more. I really, 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 really highly recommend tracking your calories. You can track your calories by writing everything down, but I would just recommend using my fitness pal. Keep in mind that if you are going on a cut, then there are gonna be moments that you are hungry. I think most of the people that are watching this video are already doing weight training, but if you're someone who's just trying to lose fat and not gain any muscle or whatever, I would still highly recommend doing resistance training. You see, not only are you gonna build muscle, but it also helps keeping your appetite low during a cut. Regularly, on days that I work out, my appetite is way lower than on days that I don't work out. Cutting is easier on a full stomach. So try eating high protein and high volume foods like chicken breast, broccoli, egg whites, fish, and potatoes. Try to avoid really calorie dense things like oil, nuts, and sauces like mayonnaise. Also try to drink a lot of water because it keeps your stomach full. I hope this video helped you and yeah, have a great day. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell,